Hey everyone, welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we'll be digging into the Commander Appo with Barkspeeder's 6 scale figure set by Hot Toys. Opening the massive box reveals a gorgeous photo of Commander Appo on his Barkspeeder teaming up with a 501st Deluxe Clone Trooper as well as an ARF Trooper on an ATRT, all of which are sold separately. That insert hides a series of plastic trays containing the Commander Appo figure, the Barkspeeder, and a selection of accessories. Taking everything out of those trays gives us a more detailed look at the set. There's the fully assembled bark speeder on the right. To the left, you can see Commander Appo standing on his display base. Next to him are his accessories, including a DC-15S blaster carbine, a pair of trigger hands, a pair of gripping hands, and a pair of DC-17 hand blasters. The bark speeder is a lengthy beast, measuring over 26 inches from tip to tail. It ships fully assembled save for the onboard cannons which can be fitted to precise points on the fuselage by a simple keyhole system. Not a straight line is to be found on that fuselage which presents a curvaceous silhouette that evokes visions of classic racing automobiles and fighter jets. The off-white and 501st blue color combo is lovingly weathered right down to the smallest detail with blemishes, scratches, and stains. And a Republic cog graces each side just behind the pilot seat. The twin flaps at the nose are articulated to provide added realism for specific positions. Additionally, the foot pedals are articulated, as are both sets of handlebars, allowing for custom adjustments to fit nearly any Hot Toy Star Wars character you'd like. The bark speeder displays in an elevated position by way of an environmental display base, connected to it by way of an articulated support. The Commander Appo figure sports a mostly standard line issue suit of 501st Clone Trooper armor but there are some significant modifications. An asymmetrical double-sided pauldron zits atop the shoulders with a bandolier strap connecting it to the belt. A black comma skirt trimmed in 501st blue drops from the back of that belt, contrasting nicely with a white sculpted holster on either side of the figure. The DC-17 hand blasters will rest comfortably in those holsters when not being gripped in the swap-out trigger hands, which will also comfortably wield the included DC-15S carbine. The Commander Appo figure's helmeted portrait sits on a double ball jointed neck and will look in all directions as well as tilt to either side. The shoulders feature a butterfly joint and will shrug, dip, press, and row. And they'll also allow the arms to raise laterally a full 90 degrees. The arms will also elevate to the front about 90 degrees and about 45 degrees to the back. The double jointed elbows will hit far more than 90 degrees of flex, and a pivot joint above the bicep will allow the arms to swivel the air. The torso will crunch, extend, there's also plenty of torso twist to be had. The legs will elevate to the side nearly 90 degrees. They'll also kick out nearly 90 degrees to the front, and about 15 degrees to the back. There's more than 90 degrees of flex to be had at the knees. And the expected pivot joint at the thigh will provide all the leg rotation you could want. The feet will pivot at the ankles. And will also extend in all directions. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Commander Appo with Bark Speeder 6 scale figure set by Hot Toys. For more information about this figure, or to check out the vast array of Star Wars figures available from Hot Toys, follow the link below. Thank you for watching our video, and as always, don't forget to let your geek sideshow.